Welcome to the Daisy Blue Fashion Variety Show. I am Nancy Blizzard, your host. My co-host is Jessica Montour. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Nancy. It's spring. Yes, it is, and it'll be summer soon, too. I'm, I'm so excited. Now we get to bring out all the clothes from the back of the closet. <laughs> we get to mix them up a little bit and try some different things. Right. It's fun because we get to kind of reinvent maybe what already exists in our closet, and then that way we could see where the voids are and then maybe even pick up some fun uh, things for the season. Yes, exactly. And in our show today, we're going to talk about how you can take an outfit and with a change of shoes or a purse or a different accessory, we can make it dressy or make it casual. Yeah. So we're going to have some fun with that with our model Chantel t tonight. I love that. I love having outfits that could go from day to evening to night, even to the next day sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. It really is. <laughs> And then we're gonna talk about just some different styles for the spring and summer that we like to introduce to the audience. Perfect. And we're gonna just talk about hats and scarves and jewelry and it's just gonna be a fun show. Yes, good, good, I'm looking forward to it. I know. Our, you know, our model today is Chantel. I'd like oh. to bring her on stage. Hi Chantel. Hi Chantel. Check this out. This is this a cute jumper. Mm -hmm. I love one pieces, whether they're jumpsuits, pantsuits, rompers. Um, they're just so fun to accessorize and, and change up where you could just have one look very different from the next time you wear it. Yeah, she could put in a, kind of a nice blazer, uh, something maybe more mauve, not, um, like beige. A neutral. Mm -hmm. Neutral color. Mm -hmm. And I love her shoes. Oh, I know. Wedges are great in the spring and summer because you start to go to these outdoor activities and you know what happens when you walk in high heels in the grass. <laughs> yes. You think exactly. it's like free aeration service for them, but for us as women, it's kind of a challenge to be somewhere wanting to be a little bit more dressed up if you're wearing heels. So the wedge is a great alternative for the spring and summer, especially for outdoor events. But a great idea to wear a wedge and you still look nice and dressy. Mm -hmm. And wedges are easier to, to wear for a longer period of time. They just give your feet a little bit more support mm -hmm. than a high heel might. So you could go six to ten hours pretty easily in a wedge, I feel like. That is so cute. Yes, I really like that. Check out this purse. Oh, love this purse. The tassel. I like tassels. I know. Tassels are all the so, rage. I think <laughs> those are so cute. Yeah, that is so fun. And who loves pockets? Do you ladies love pockets? I really do. I know. It's such a treat when I try something on and I find out there's pockets. I'm yes. like, oh my gosh, there's pockets in here. Because it's so nice if you don't want to have to carry a purse, you could just slip your cell phone in there or maybe a $20 bill or your ID or whatever without having to hold things in your hand. I know, and they think they would really like to carry purses, but actually sometimes we don't want to carry our mm -hmm. purse. Mm -hmm. So it's like the pockets are great. You can put your lipstick, you can put your keys, mm -hmm. and you're all set really, yeah. and your cell phone, you're, you're good. Even high-end designers are now putting pockets in their gowns and in their, um, in their coats and stuff because they know that women love pockets. So oh, nice. yeah, it is, it's, it's good for us. <laughs> Boy, they're listening, aren't they? They sure are. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That is wonderful. But I do want to talk about shoes a little bit more. Now, these are these wedges are wonderful, but you know, you have some options in shoes. You know, there's uh, open-toed sandals, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. that you can wear, and they're, those are dressy. Now, there's also ones that are like flip-flops. How do you feel about ones with the flip-flop types that are leather? Um, I kind of struggle with flip-flops a little bit. I feel like that's more for a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm dressed up, I try to steer clear from shoes with that kind of in between the toe and the first toe, just because I feel like it's just so casual. Yes. So um, I'm not a big fan of flip-flops, in all yeah. honesty. And I know that there's plenty of nice shoes out mm -hmm. there that are kind of the flip-flop style and they have a nice buckle, but I just, honestly, they don't do, they don't do anything for me. So I kind of steer my clients away from anything flip-flop. Okay. And now, sneakers are like, got, are such fashion statements yes, now, right? Yes. I mean, they got these bold colors uh -huh. and it's, it's wonderful, right? Right. I love sneakers too, because you can wear them with rompers, you can wear them with jumpsuits, you can wear them with sundresses. 
And um, the sneaker, sneaker game, I guess, is what people call it. They, there's a lot of people on their sneaker game. There's a lot of sneaker heads out there. And they <laughs> can make anything look fabulous with a great pair of sneakers. So yeah. I'm all for sneakers. I just bought a um, fresh pair of canary yellow oh Pumas. Oh, my gosh. And I bought them during the holiday season, but I just had to pick them up. And I cannot wait to wear those with a sundress or a little jean skirt or something. So that's awesome. I'll send a shoofy, you know, when I <laughs> <laughs> send a little shoofy when I put, put my outfit together. I want to see that. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that. So how can we maybe change this outfit up? I think um, I think Chantel can probably um, inspire us uh, with this jumpsuit and see how we can change okay. it up a little bit. Great. That's good. So what other accessories do you like to bring out and reinvent during different seasons? Well, I um, actually have a little surprise for you. Uh -huh. This is this is um, a, a headband. Oh. Normally that you would wear okay. as you pull your hair back. Mm -hmm. But I do something a little bit different with headbands. When I first got it, I thought, you know, I'm going to make a great bracelet and you just kind of twirl it around and you kind of get it the way you want it you kind of move the pieces and you've got this great cute fun bracelet I love that that is so fun I like how like organic and natural looking yeah. it is you know and it's literally a headband it's a headband I love that mm -hmm. That's so fun. You know, they call that arm candy. So you have some <laughs> arm candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's important with fashion, though, is people, um, sometimes they get stuck on a belt is a belt or a headband is a headband. Yes. Not necessarily. Oh. No. I have a um, purse. The purse is long gone, but I still have the strap from the purse, and I actually use it as a belt. And it's one of my favorite go-to belts. Nobody knows that it used to be part of a purse. Only I know that. But it's fun to kind of think Isn't out of the box and reinvent what you have, you know, and just try something new and different. That's such a great idea. Oh my goodness, that, that's wonderful that you would think that. Yeah. And now you have another use for it. Yeah, exactly. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that is fun. so cool. Cool. Uh-oh. Look at this. Here she comes. Here she comes. So we have the same jumpsuit here. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. I love that. So she's just simply added this mm -hmm. um, fierce leather vest. Oh, with that crochet. Yeah. Still kind of shows off that beautiful back piece of the jumpsuit. And then the little ballerina slipper. I love yeah, that. Yeah, that is so cute. Mm-hmm. So this that's, could be, I mean, where would you wear an outfit like this to? Oh gosh, I could wear that. That would be going out to dinner. You could, you could still go out. You could still go out mm -hmm. happy hour for that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. I like that too. I mean, if you're running errands and you know, mm -hmm. you gotta, you maybe you're going to meet some friends for some happy hour or yes. a nice lunch date. You could, it's a really nice, versatile, casual, but real still, um, you know, statement outfit I, like I love that. that yes how cute is that and that's what people need to remember is that try something mm -hmm. just try it and see how it works wear it once and see mm -hmm. pick up just experiment with your, right. your closet mm -hmm. and you never know you'll come up with something and I, I experiment with my closet all the time and I get compliments it's like wow what a great idea it's like well I just thought I'd try it yeah <laughs> and that's that's what you have to do yeah. clothes and see notice how she kind of swooped her hair up what a difference that makes yeah. from that side braid she had. So now she's like up and on the go, but it's still so classy. Very. Right? Uh -huh. I just want to give you a <laughs> glass of wine. That's right. I love that. I like so to good. look nice when I go shopping. I actually uh -huh. like to look nice when I go out. Mm -hmm. And then, and she's comfortable too, because mm -hmm. she has the flat shoe and, yeah. you know, she can, she could deal with kids. She could deal with, you know, grocery bags. <laughs> she could deal with escalators. <laughs> All of the above. She could deal with some sushi. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. I love that, Chantel. Good, good. Very cute. My favorite in the summertime is hats. I love hats. Oh, tell me about your hats. Okay. I have a, a cowboy hat. I have some straw hats. But you know, the great thing about hats is the good sun protection. Yes. 
They keep you from squinting. Mm -hmm. And they're just, they're just really cute. Mm -hmm. And it, when you wear a hat, I promise you, people take a second look. It's like, oh my gosh, she's wearing a hat. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, there are hats out there. Right. But you should try them. You should just, just try it. It's wonderful. Uh huh. I agree there, especially for the spring summer. Right now, we're seeing a lot of the straw hats. I've seen this big floppy hat, literally, I mean, big. <laughs> it went all the way down, like toward the middle of her back. And I really? was like, that is fabulous. <laughs> You know, why not just take your umbrella with you on your head? It's just perfect sun protection. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's the perfect way to keep the sun out of your eyes and keep you from squinting. And Colorado sun's very bright here. Oh, yeah. It's very bright, and mm -hmm. a hat really does make a difference. Right. It's, it's truly a statement piece. It is. Uh huh. And you know, um, when you go to a lunch and you see some ladies lunching, and they all have their fabulous hats, it's like, oh, it's just such a nice touch. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It is. And you just get so many different kinds and different shapes and different. Uh -huh. And I've seen, I like the way some of them wear kind of on the back of their head. It's kind of like angled more. I mean, you can wear them different ways. I've seen them in different oh, angles. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you talking about, um, are they called the pillbox yeah. hat? Yeah. I don't want to make anything up, but I think that's what you're talking about, kind yes. of a pill box, but you could wear it kind of off to the side. side. Mm -hmm. Jackie O was one of my faves when it came to hats. Oh, yes. She just knew how to put things together, and she didn't wear the same type of things over and over. She just always had these real unique, polished, classic looks. So when you say hats, yeah. my mind automatically goes to, Does it? to Jackie O, yeah. Oh, she was yeah, she was classy. Mm -hmm. I love. I would wear a pill box. I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Oh, look at where are we going now. Yeah. Wow. See, this is my example about hats. Is this so cute? Oh my gosh. Yes. How different. So this is the third um, look with the same exact jumpsuit, mm -hmm. and that is so cute. I want to take you to like a little ranch and put you on a horse and take you horseback <laughs> riding to the countryside. And, and have a picnic under a tree or something. How fabulous does she look? I yeah, love that. I love it. I really do. Look how cute that is. Yeah. It's adorable. And I like her hair on the side. See, a different hairstyle. She's a master now, of like these hair, this hair thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. And hair makes a big difference when it comes to different outfits and mm -hmm. different looks. Mm -hmm. You know, you could really change up a look just based on what the hair looks like, so. I love that. She has like this little kind of twist in her pony on the side. <laughs> Ooh, you're going to have to teach me how to do that one. <laughs> I love it. Cool. And then she has her little tote, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's some bottled water in there or maybe there's her <laughs> lipstick and her compact in there. It's kind of mysterious, <laughs> but it's a really cool little compliment too to what she has going on. It there. matches very well, yes. yes. It does. I love that. You can put a, lot of, put a lot in there. You can put your suntan lotion and you can probably put uh -huh. a little bottle of water and, mm -hmm. it's, and you're all set. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I love it. Really nice. Well done, Chantel. <laughs> I, love, I love jean jackets. <laughs> I love jean jackets. Oh, I know. And I really, like the short, I really like the short jackets. The yeah. great thing is, is if you're in a place where the weather changes frequently, you almost need to carry a shawl, a, a mm -hmm. jacket, uh, something, you know, to cover your back a little bit, um, especially because this jumpsuit is very open on the back. So once you've covered your back, then yes. you're well into the evening and even the night, and you're still going to be comfortable and look fabulous. <laughs> and with three-quarter sleeves, you can wear a bracelet or you can wear... You, mm -hmm. you have, you can show your arm candy. I am, I am big, I mean, I love jewelry, but I, I tend to get a little more conservative in the summer when I'm out at a picnic. I tend to wear smaller earrings. Mm. Or, you're right, maybe, or, or, what is your thought on earrings in the summertime? I feel like when it comes to accessories, kind of go big or go home. <laughs> Oh, you know, great. As, as far as mm -hmm. myself, I do like just the stud earrings or um, a simple, simple mm -hmm. bracelet. But I always see women and I think they look so marvelous when they have big, huge earrings and their hair is all up. I don't know that I can necessarily pull that off, but I think it looks great on a lot of women when when they have those big earrings or maybe a big necklace. Just because it's summer doesn't mean we have to tone down our jewelry in any way, shape or form.
Isn't that wonderful? We get two different opinions here on the Daisy Blue Fashion Variety Show. <laughs> we don't, you know, we right. can get two different views mm -hmm. on it. And so now the audience can decide what what suits them, right. what they like, right? Exactly. I think the thing is, though, that sometimes people overdo it. Mm -hmm. So if you have a really big statement hat, you probably don't want to overdo the accessories. You know, mm -hmm. what's your right. statement piece? And then build your outfit kind of around that. Because if you have too many statement pieces, you kind of look like a hot mess, in my opinion. That you know, wonderful. I want to see somebody who's well put together mm -hmm. and I want something to jump out at me. Um, not like, I don't want to be confused <laughs> when I'm like, what, well, I don't understand too much. Have you ever seen that when somebody just has yep. way too much going on? They um, have too much, it detracts. It's too much bling. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, I see the hat, the, the, the necklace, the bracelet, what, what, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it kinda and the detracts. shirt might be too bold or too bright or mm -hmm. too busy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to stay away from that, in my, in my opinion. I think that's wonderful advice. Yeah. <laughs> that's great advice. It really is. Good, that good. is. I um, I also like, I love to wear dresses in the summer. Mm -hmm. I'm really big on wearing dresses. And there's just some really cute shifts that you can wear that are just so warm. They're just so much comfortable in the summer and the hot weather to just wear a simple dress. And then you can add necklaces and jewelry to it. But mm -hmm. I just love a cotton dress mm -hmm. or skirts. Oh, yeah. I love wearing skirts. And now the skort, skort. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. the little shorts underneath right. it. Mm -hmm. Those are wonderful. You can still like ride your bike and, and, right. and walk and do activities. You could sit on a picnic blanket and mm -hmm. still feel comfortable, things mm -hmm. like that. Talking about accessories, um, one of the big accessories right now are chokers. <gasps> That's oh. the hottest accessory right now. Um, chokers are everywhere. It's kind of like this whole 80s thing has come back mm -hmm. into the mix. So you're probably have already seen a lot of people wearing chokers, but we're gonna continue to see that through the spring and summer, is chokers are, are oh. kind of a big a big item. I hear like pom-poms are back too. Are there pom-pom oh, things back? I love pom-poms. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Yes, I, I have a pair of pom-poms and I put them on my shoes, different pairs of shoes that I have. Do you but really? Yeah, but pom-pom keychains, pom-poms on jean jackets, pom I mean, pom-poms, yeah, pom-poms and tassels. Can't go wrong with oh. pom-poms and tassels. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. That's how, that makes it fun. Yeah. And that gives us the opportunity to add color because a lot mm -hmm. of times there's some really colorful tassels and pom-poms out there. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because you know you need bright colors in the spring and summer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 come on out, Chantel. And we have a fourth look. Look at this. Same jumpsuit, Nancy. Can you believe we've reinvented oh this jumpsuit four times? Oh my gosh, I love Ooh, that. Oh, I love the shoes. Yes. Oh my goodness. So she's Those completely so flipped the sc script on this and went from totally casual to backyard, from bar backyard barbecue to now, look at this. She's completely dressed this thing up with the nice pump. Love it. Um, and then this moto jacket with the crochet that looks <laughs> yeah, I and like that, that. Hair. Yes, rock <laughs> on, girl. She's like gonna go to a concert. <laughs> she's gonna hit some clubs later, or maybe she's just gonna let somebody treat her to a really nice dinner. <laughs> I like the sparkly shoes. Oh yeah, those. Those are, are wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah, the jacket's awesome. <laughs> Much dressed up. Yeah. Really dressed up. Yeah. I love that. I like that, and the change of hair. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Something. Uh-huh. She just keeps changing the hairdo and, and it looks great. And it works it really does. every yeah. time. Yeah. That's so and great. And she could like a, a nice necklace if she put on a, like a something mm -hmm. blingy mm -hmm. necklace with that beautiful jacket. Uh-huh. That would that'd be awesome too. Or she might be able to add a belt, you know, if mm -hmm. she um, wanted to do something different. Once again, completely changing the look. Yep. Just by adding a necklace or a belt. Yeah. yeah. That's a great idea. The mm -hmm. belt would be a great idea too. Mm -hmm. And just like the jean jacket, the moto jacket is great. You know, as the seasons change, you're in between seasons or you're going from afternoon to evening and yes. it's cooling down. You need to have these things in your car or in your tote um, so that you can continue on the night without feeling cold or uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what, yeah, and a jacket will make a big difference. Yeah. That one's really cute. Very nice. 
Very well done, Chantel. Nice, Chantel. <laughs> Way to go. What colors do you like in the spring summer? What do you tend to gravitate towards? Uh, more purples and blues. Oh. Yeah, I really do. Mm -hmm. And I like a little splash of red. Do you? Yeah, red's yeah. relevant year round, I think, for us, isn't it? It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> our beloved red color. <laughs> uh, the only thing we have to do is put away our fur. That's the only thing that oh, you and I, I put know. away is our fur. It's hard, isn't it? Oh, yeah, huh? it is hard. <laughs> oh, that was a hard one. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> I love bright colors in the summer. You know, the hot pinks yeah. and the yellows and the turquoise. I think those are just perfect colors to kind of introduce yourself from spring into summer especially yeah because I had that this I have a purple dress about this color mm -hmm. and I wear it with a red jacket oh and I just try I just I just decided I was like wait a second that jacket goes with this yeah it goes really well like mm -hmm. I put it on I'm like this looks really cute yeah yeah, Good. yeah that's and a I great love idea red, uh -huh. it doesn't have to just go with black or blue right. or white it mm -hmm. can go with nice nice blue purple right I know those electric, like this is kind of an electric mm -hmm. blue to me. I love that electric blue. I love electric purple. Yeah. Those are perfect colors for spring, spring, summer. I feel like when I get to spring, I do, start doing some pastels and then I break out of that. And then it's just like summertime, time to go bright, you yeah. know, and it's just so fun to play with color in the, during the summer months. It really is. Yeah. It's really fun. I, I just, I just like, I, I, I'm really big on dresses. Because I just think they're just cooler, and mm -hmm. I just, I just love, I love a, like a flower dress. I love flowers. Oh, yeah. I'm really crazy about flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's got flowers on it, you know, I will probably buy it. Oh, really? That's yeah. good to know. Uh -huh. I have to keep that in mind. <laughs> what do you think about black in the summer? Uh, you know, I love black. Normally, I, I gravitate towards uh, black, yeah. but I kind of stay away from it in the summer yeah. only because it, it is, it's the heat. It just kind of attracts heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about you? Well, I'm a wear black fanatic. I could wear black every <laughs> single day. I usually wear black um, in some way, shape, or form, and I uh -huh. almost have to force myself to not wear black. Really? So I, I love black in the summer. I think it looks great, um, especially when you kind of get a little bit more tan and sun-kissed on your skin. Mm -hmm. And then you can mix in like some bright turquoise jewelry, especially in the summertime with an all-black outfit or some really nice silver jewelry with an all-black outfit. Or some really nice gold jewelry with an all-black outfit. I mean, the sky's the limit for me when it comes to black. I could literally wear black all year round. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I was just curious. Yeah. Yeah. Because we all like something different. And mm -hmm. that's what's so great is, like, everybody likes something different. And we all have different choices when it comes to clothing. Mm -hmm. Isn't it great? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, and there's so much out there to choose from. And you, you get to create your outfit right. to your personal taste, your style you make your statement when you go right. out, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like every day is a runway show and the world is our runway, you know? That's right. That sort of thing. So and, and get out there and fun. try something and, and, and try something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I love be, that. Be, uh, be different, right? <laughs> I, you know, I love, another color that I love is pink. I, I, I love pink. Mm. That's another beautiful color. Uh -huh. What shade of pink? Oh, well, I like magenta. Okay. And I like I kind of like all shades, of, all shades of pink. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like yeah. the whole spectrum. Uh huh. I agree with you too on that one. Mm -hmm. I um, I I gravitate more towards the magenta and hot pink. Again, yeah. you know, go big or go home. You, you oh, know, it's I like. like <laughs> so um, I, I tend to go that that route. But yeah, I think it's so pretty in the s summer, in the spring to wear pinks. It is. Mm -hmm. It's such a pretty color. Yeah. Yeah. It's so girly, huh? And girly, yeah. 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 It's just, it's summer so much fun and there's just so much you can play with and uh -huh. do, do with and you get, you get to your closet and just bring some stuff, right. stuff out and change it up. Uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Chantel's coming back out. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. You guys are like this. Oh, look at Derby Day. Oh, yeah. I think it's around that time, Derby it Day. It is. And it's getting more and more popular, too. There's Derby parties all over the place now. There so is. Everybody almost needs to have a fabulous hat. Speaking of mm -hmm. pink. <laughs> Speaking of pink. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> look at that. It has like this feather and, and bow. That is so pretty. I love that. I think that is so cute. Mm -hmm. I love that dress. I love lace. 
Yeah. I, lo I love lace. I think lace is just so pretty and that's, that's gorgeous. And it contrasts so nicely with that mm -hmm. color, kind of that burgundy, but then that pop of pink. You can't go wrong with a pop of pink. No. <laughs> when in doubt, if you're feeling really drab and kind of bored, put some pink on. And I guarantee you'll be like, okay, I could do this. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> sometimes based on what you're wearing is how you kind of exude yourself. And it could be your, become your mood mm -hmm. a little bit. So. I completely agree. Because when you look really nice, it does something to your mood. Mm -hmm. It really does. That's right. It really does. <laughs> I know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, look what this hat has done to Chantel. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's like, yes, that confidence is there. Rocket girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. I love that her, her, her hair is just all down like that, too. I think yeah. that is fabulous. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. and, and kind of like what you said, that tilt of the hat. Yeah. You know, because just her having it kind of tilted mm -hmm. a little bit, it's a whole different look, right? I have seen people wear, wear hats tilted or backwards or just to the side. Right. I'm thinking, well, that's, there's something different. Mm -hmm. It can be to, done. I'm gonna have to get on my hat game. I'm gonna have to try this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to get a hat and I'm gonna have to experiment on how to tilt it on my head. <laughs> Cause it does, it looks really cute, kind of just tilted like that. Very nice. And you'll start something. <laughs> Somebody else pick up, will pick up on the idea. Someone else will pick up on the idea. See, you'll start a trend. Yeah. <laughs> We're going viral, baby. See, you're gonna <laughs> <laughs> start something all new. Right. <laughs> it's all good. I love that. Good stuff. Stuff. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. So cute. I love lace. We're so lucky to have Chantel. I know. We are really lucky to have Chantel. Mm -hmm. She's great. And you can tell she has so much fun modeling. She just loves what she does, uh -huh, right? Yeah. She's all engaged. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's good and she's like knows how to pose and strike a pose. <laughs> we love you, Chantel. <laughs> Do you think they'll still wear boots this summer? Do you think we'll still see people wearing boots? Um, I'm just kind of curious. I know that was a really big thing for a few summers. You would see someone in a dress and yeah. then wear in, in a pair of boots. Or do you think that's gone and gone I away? I think it just kind of depends what area of the country you're in, mm -hmm. you know, because you cannot get away with that look probably in a beach town. Because yeah. let's be honest, it's too hot yeah. and you're just going to get uncomfortable and mm -hmm. sweaty under the boot. But the half boots that are out right now, um, it's just this little boot that goes to your ankle. Yeah. They are so fun. It goes along with this kind of boho chic festival look that a lot of people are, are wearing. And um, they look great with sundresses. They look great when you have something denim on. Um, they look great with shorts. So I think the half boots, you will mm -hmm. see women um, rocking the half boots this summer. Okay. Do you have a pair of half? I know you love boots. Do you have any half boots? <laughs> I have ones, yeah, I have the little, little ones, yeah, they're oh, like, okay. yeah, yeah, I do like them. Uh -huh. They're very comfortable, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, I could walk around them all day. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like a pair of sneakers, almost. They're so comfortable, right. yeah. So I guess just depends what the event is and where you're going. If you're going to the lake, if you're going camping, not likely are you right. going to wear the half boots. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're going to maybe an outdoor music festival where you don't want to wear open-toed shoes because... Yeah. There's a lot of stuff on the floor, and That's right. you don't. It, it just gets nasty on your feet. Yeah. Um, so sometimes it's nice to have your feet completely covered, mm -hmm. um, whether it's sneakers or half boots. So I would say yes, yes. Boots this summer is going to be oh a thing. good. <laughs> okay, I'll wear them. Yes. <laughs> Experiment <laughs> with your boots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you wear like lace socks with them? What kind of socks? I mean, um, I think the best thing to do is no show socks. Okay. In the summertime when it comes to your boots. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, even in the winter time, sometimes um, I would rather wear no show socks with half boots and then have the jeans rolled up. So I would say mm -hmm. no show socks with the half boots if you're going to wear them with shorts or okay. um, with a sundress. All right. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some great socks out there, but socks you really. You know, you don't really want to be showing socks. No. Even with sneakers, you don't want to be showing no, your socks you don't want to be necessarily. Showing. The guys do, and mm -hmm. I think that looks nice. A lot mm -hmm. of them will wear the, the calf high socks yeah. um, for the guys. Even some women do that too. But I just think that no show socks kind of, you know, make you look at the sneaker even more, especially if you're wearing fabulous sneakers. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> There's some great socks out there. Well, we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Chantel. Oh my goodness. Looky, looky, that looky. That is so cute. Yeah, that's fun. Check out her scarf. See, yeah, you have it. You see? Uh-huh. I absolutely love that. That is so cute, the little necktie. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Look at the co different colors. Because you've got this beautiful like burgundy wine dress mm -hmm. with a jean jacket and that little white scarf. Mm -hmm. just my eyes went right there. Yeah. The little white scarf. Uh -huh. Me too. <laughs> yeah. My eyes went right there too. Yeah. And then it gravitated to the side pony. I'm like, oh, and the side pony's great. <laughs> I love that. That is so, I'm going to steal that look. I'm going to steal that uh, the, the bow tie thing. Yeah. 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 We know Nancy loves her scarves. Yeah. <laughs> I love things like that in the summer. I just think they're so cute. Maybe show Chantel that neck piece that you have. Oh, okay. Chantel. The one with the beads on the inside. Yeah, try this one try on, Try this Chantel. one on, Chantel. Try it around my neck? Yeah, try it around your neck. So this is, um, tell us about this piece, Nancy. Okay, so this is, um, in the summertime when I go hiking or when I'm out, I love wearing these. You can get them at any sporting goods stores. And they've got beads in them that, and can you, you feel the beads? You feel the beads? Mm -hmm. The beads, when you get it wet, are supposed to keep you cool. I basically <laughs> like it as just a fashion statement, just because it's so cute. Yeah. I've gotten so many compliments on them, mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. It's just something fun to wear. Yeah, it just totally changed the whole look too. Mm -hmm. so, and I wear um, it with a plain black shirt. Yeah. Um, it, and it's just, and they come in different designs and patterns, and I just, I just love them. And yeah. because of the bees, it kind of weighs, weighs, it weighs it down, weighs it down. Okay, so, so it sits on your chest that way because so you don't have to worry about it coming rising up right. or yeah. moving around it won't move around on your neck it's gonna stay right there mm -hmm. it's wonderful and you could feel how cool it is with the beads mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. uh -huh, I did I, I <laughs> grabbed it and I was like wow this is I a nice worry. cool uh-huh <laughs> uh-huh I like that Nancy yeah. showed it to me earlier and I thought oh that's a cool piece yeah, it's, it's awesome. Because you could literally just have a white tee or a black tee mm -hmm. and a, or a neutral tee and you put that on and it's yeah. like, bam, I got a little bit more flavor than just a plain yes. tee going on. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. I like that. Very, very cute. Good. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I like that. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we're all about here. See, we're even learning things from Chantel. I She's know. bringing on fashion tips now. Oh, yeah, she sure is. She definitely knows what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> she knows how to shop. She knows uh -huh. how to put things together. That's she knows right. how to be versatile with her wardrobe. You're hired, Chantel. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You change your hairstyle, change your, mm -hmm. change your uh, outfit, accessories. Mm -hmm. There's so much to do, and yeah, and I think that's what we really wanted our viewers to see mm -hmm. today is that you can reinvent what you have in your closet already. You can change okay. it up. You know, we're creatures of habit, just by nature. Yes, we go into the same patterns. We tend to put gas at the same place. We tend to walk the same pattern at the grocery mm -hmm. store we tend to put the same outfits together. So what can we do to break out of being a creature of yeah. habit? Um, because it's so easy just to kind of fall into a routine when it comes to our mm -hmm. everyday lives and our clothing. Um, it is. So I think that's really what we kind of wanted to show our viewers today, right, Nancy? Yes, it is, exactly. And to experiment, because it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay to wear something and just try something different, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree with you totally. Yeah. That's why we, we, we like love to do the show because we like to inform our audience of just some great tips. Right. Wardrobe tips that we want them to take home with. Uh-huh, exactly. You don't always have to refresh your wardrobe with five to a thousand dollars, five hundred to a thousand dollars worth of new not things. At all. You could just kind of assess the situation and then um, maybe buy some pieces to refresh a little bit. Mm -hmm. But you can really keep pieces in your closet for years and years and years. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you seen um, or do you wear any anyone that wears like any type of hair jewelry? I, I mean, I know I use people wear hmm. anything, or is that is that ever been a a big thing? You know, I, I've seen sometimes people wear the 
the crown, little crowns or the or something or the little sparkles, the little sparkly oh, bracelets and stuff. I've seen some of that. I have right? seen some of that. Um, maybe five years ago, hair feathers yeah. were a thing. Do you remember that? I do remember yeah. that. Yeah, and people were clipping feathers into their hair mm -hmm. and you can actually have it in for three to six weeks because it was clipped into your own hair yeah and it was really fun um but as far as on the horizon do i see anything hair wise um not so much as far as jewelry or yeah not that i could think of off the, off of the top of my head anyway i'm right. sure i'm sure there are things trending i just right yeah but i think people sh should be able to go in into the beauty store and if they see something they like they think you think i can put that in my hair i think you should just go ahead and do it uh -huh. right right try something uh -huh. exactly. so if it's a piece of hair jewelry that you see in the store that you're just not sure mm -hmm. i give it a try and see what it looks like right. right i think hair extensions are probably the biggest thing right now a lot of people mm -hmm. are trying to make their hair fuller and longer yeah or you could clip in a purple one or you could clip in blonde all the way down the bottom if you're a brunette or vice versa I think that's kind of a big, a big, a big thing. thing. Yeah, they also have these. Um, it's almost like a chicken wire, and you can just put it in your hair, and it has all this great hair behind it, so that really, yeah. But I have seen some of those diamond bling things that people put in their hair too. Oh, have I you? think color is just the thing for hair right now. Isn't that the trend <laughs> where everybody's kind of coloring their hair? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe not necessarily accessories or adornments mm -hmm. in the hair, but just people are experimenting with different colors. Different colors, different color hair, right? And you could do that without having to bleach your hair. You can do that with clip-ins and things like that. Yeah. yeah. I kind of like the silver hair. I think the silver oh, hair is gorgeous. I'm with you. I'm so are with you? you on that. Yes. I've oh, seen so many silver. women that are so stunning. Yeah. Stunning with silver hair. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I know, I know. Instead of pulling out all my grays, maybe I should just go silver. Because <laughs> I'm kind of turning into a silverback. <laughs> Hardly not. You look if you only knew. <laughs> my husband can attest to that. <laughs> but I'm with you. I think the, the platinum mm -hmm. silver hair is gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I used to have a hairdresser that's, every time I saw her, her hair was a different color. Oh. And the last time I saw her, um, she, it was silver, mm. and I thought, I was like, just, oh my gosh, that looks so good on you. Yeah. 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 She's like, well, thanks. I'm like, it just, <laughs> this looks great. I know. Isn't that fun? I, I just love, they have di different trends. Mm -hmm. so we get something different every year, mm -hmm. something we can try. Right. And hair is fun, too. Yes. It's part of fashion, too, Oh, actually. absolutely. Right? Yeah. You agree, Oh, huh? I agree. <laughs> I wish I was more daring with my hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but maybe I will be. Maybe I'll show up to the next show with platinum hair. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh, la la. Oh, we got here a she little something coming. Oh, I like that. Oh, my gosh. So we I have this burgundy, it. this Merlot, beautiful How lace. Crazy that is. Base layer. And she's oh really gosh. dolled it up with this velvet sheer jacket. <sighs> And the so fabulousness of the shoes. Once again. <laughs> yeah. I love the sleeves. I think the sleeves are awesome. Yeah, so elegant. I oh think one of my favorite parts of this outfit is just how the crisscross in the front shows through. It's so pretty. It's so pretty because it ties into this. It, it almost would look like a skirt otherwise. But you could see how it's a dress and how it ties together with that crisscross on her chest. Oh my gosh, of yeah. Of all of that, um, the string that's so pretty. I like the way that it does that, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I do. I think the jacket is gorgeous. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So she is, this is more probably an evening type mm -hmm. of outfit. When you yeah. pull out the velvet, it oh. turns more into a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It turns more into a uh, night time kind of look so pretty with the sheer and your hair is up too I right know. yeah Jessica? Uh -huh. yeah and that is that is the ideal look for it too that just to have her hair it is isn't up. it yeah I love that that is and she's got the sparkly shoes on <laughs> your favorite yes he's got the yeah yeah I love it oh it's so cute mm -hmm. love those sleeves ele, ele, elegant <laughs> <laughs> love it
<laughs> Chantel's got so much for us to see. Yeah, it's so much fun to see. It's like, what's she going to wear? What's she going to put next, right? All right. All right. <laughs> what is she going to put together What's she going to put up next? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's funny because you and I both gravitate to two different things. You you really like the front of her dress. I was like looking at the sleeves. Oh, So it's okay. funny how you and mm -hmm. I gravitate to different things. Mm -hmm. And that's what's wonderful about it's because we all like different things. Right. Isn't that wonderful? We yeah. all like, that's why the stores have so many clothes, because <laughs> right. everyone's got different tastes. Uh -huh. And no matter what you end up, end up with, as long as you're really happy with it and you put together something that makes you feel great, mm -hmm. right. that's the bottom line, isn't it? And if you feel great, it's going to show. It does show. It really is going to show. Mm -hmm. If you feel great in that color or those shoes or the hat, it's going to show. It's a whole nother glow that you could see on a person when, yeah. they, when they feel great. If, yep. Yeah, they And do. some days we don't feel great. We're human. Some days are mm -hmm. not good days for us. So even more reason to maybe put something bright on or something statement on because it, it might help kind of like get you out of a little slump. Yeah. You know, because um, it's, it's easy to kind of just like, oh, yoga pants, Crocs, and a right. T-shirt. And you mm -hmm. feel like a yoga pants, Crocs, and a t-shirt, if that's what you're wearing, you know. You do. You know, but if you put some um, leggings on with some fun sneakers and a t-shirt, that might change change the game for you for that day. Oh, I can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. I can tell, I, I've told myself not to wear sweatpants. You, you, know, you don't wear sweatpants to the store anymore. It's mm. like. They, what, if, what if they're really fabulous joggers? <laughs> <laughs> why would you, those are great for home, but why don't you put on a nice pair of jeans and find a nice shirt mm -hmm. and a nice jacket and, a diff and just your little shorty boots and, yeah. and it's like, oh, yeah. I look like, I look nice, I yeah. like, I look presentable. Yeah. Like, I love my sweatpants, but they really belong at home or at the mm -hmm. gym. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where they belong. If you feel sassy, you're going to walk sassy. Yeah. If you walk sassy, you're going to exude sassy. You know, <laughs> like, do you want somebody to think you're sassy? <laughs> it's good to be sassy. <laughs> <laughs> it is good to be sassy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> According to some. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And I like your bright lip, your, your lipsticks. Oh, thank you. I like that. I like bright lipstick. I do too. I'm so excited I could bring out my hot pink again. I have not really been wearing my hot no. pink. This is red, okay. but um, I have a very nice matte hot pink. Really? It's gorgeous. And it's like, bam, it stands <laughs> out. It stands out. But I haven't been able to wear it just because the change of the seasons. Yeah. But now that we're getting closer to the summer, the hotter outdoor months. Uh, I, I'm going to have to get a fresh, probably, tube of hot pink lipstick because I wore the heck out of it last season. Did you really? Last summer, yeah, I really did. <laughs> Down to a nub or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's getting smaller and smaller. Another fun thing during the summer and the spring is um, just like a clear gloss. I think that's so pretty um, in, in the warmer months. Just a clear, oh. a clear gloss on yeah. the lips. Just, you know, something natural, neutral. Mm -hmm. Um, especially if you're outside or you got the beach waves going mm -hmm. and you just got that clear gloss. So not a ton of makeup in the summer. Right. You don't want a ton of makeup, but um, the clear gloss and just simple mascara speaks volumes. I agree. And they have some, they have some really subtle col summer colors, just very subtle, like a subtle pink. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of color on your lips mm -hmm. goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Try to keep it a little more neutral and natural, I think. Yeah. In the, for the summer. summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the outdoor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> good, good, good. Oh, la la. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. So we totally changed this up. Wow. You are so Check good. It out. I like that. This is my, f you know, this is my favorite with the short in the front and the long in the back. Uh-huh. Who All ever sheer. saw that, I, I would like to thank him or her mm -hmm. for coming up with that style. Right. You're seeing a lot of gowns like that, too, or maxi dresses, oh. too, where it's short in the front and kind of longer in I the back. I love that. Yeah. I really do. Did you see the back of this, Nancy? Let's see. <gasps> Very cool. Mm -hmm. All that crisscross action, and that's why she has to wear her hair up, because 
Um, if her hair was down, it would, it would be too heavy on all of that. So now that she's put her hair up, it's like we could celebrate what's going on in her back. There's a party back there. <laughs> <laughs> then, then it wouldn't move, it wouldn't flow. It, the hair would like... Oh, that's right? true, it with the fabric it too. The fabric mm -hmm. wouldn't move very, very much, right? And yeah. that's the whole part of the, the nice, the, this outfit's so nice because it does flow, because right. the blouse kind of flows. As mm -hmm. she walks, it flows. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it even prettier. Yeah, and these fabrics are very light, so this is clearly a spring summer, even mm -hmm. more of a summer because in the spring it might be a little chilly to wear these fabrics. So in, in the summer, this is perfect, perfect, perfect. But if she wore this, if she wore the jumpsuit in the summer out to a picnic, and then it started, the sun started to go down, she mm -hmm. could throw this over and right. And or she mm -hmm. could go to church maybe with this outfit on mm -hmm. and then if she was going to go to a barbecue outside and it was going to get warmer throughout the day she could easily take off the sheer top there so you, go. you know just being creative with your outfit so it can go through all the things you're going to go through that day That's it's right. very possible it's very possible to do that. It's kind of like when you're packing and you're flying out of somewhere that's 30 degrees, but you're going somewhere that's 90 degrees. Have you ever played that mind game with yourself when you're traveling and you're like, how am I gonna accomplish this one? You have to be creative because it's mm -hmm. not like you can have an entire wardrobe change with yeah. you on the airplane. So <laughs> layers, that's when you have to think yes. layers. That's when you have to maybe have a change of shoes, but it's, it's very possible very possible yeah. and this is a classic example of how you can easily achieve I that. love that yep. summer is coming up quickly mm -hmm. and we we're gonna have so much fun with all our with all our clothes trying on different things mm -hmm. different you know different ideas we've got so many different choices and I I'm just so excited to like to just pull everything out and, right. and maybe I'll just try some different things now that I've gotten some ideas from Chantel. <laughs> right. <actually. laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm with you too. So we're going to have to share our summer wardrobe yeah. journey with each other yes. along the way. On the way. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, you, it's, I think it's good when you're out shopping and you're out about, pay attention to what other people are wearing. You can get, other, you can get ideas from other people. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm a creep when it comes to people watching. <laughs> I'm such a creeper. Like, I stare way too long. <laughs> and my kids will tell me, Mom, really? You're staring. I'm like, I know, I know. I'm just a creep when it comes to pre people watching because I love to watch people. And I love to see what they're wearing. And I love to see how they're interacting, you know? So <laughs> it's so funny you say that because it's, it really? it's a must. I mean, how else are you going to be inspired or kind of see new yeah things out there especially like from the younger generations it's oh, so cool to yes. see what the kids in high school in college or you know the night scene what they're wearing and you just kind of feed off of that and figure out how does that apply to you or not apply to you right and you can alter it or something or maybe what they're doing maybe you can just change it up just a little bit or something right but yeah they have i've seen some and, and i'll turn around i'll be in line at the grocery store i'm like where did you get that uh -huh. you know that is such a cool idea. Yeah. How, what, what made you think of that, of wearing that? Oh, uh -huh. I just thought I'd, that's one thing, you uh -huh. know, thanks. So, yeah, yeah. I, I just love it. I think we can really learn from each other. So be aware of what other people are, wear, are wearing and, and we get ideas. Uh -huh. That's one of my favorite things of traveling outside of my hometown is I like to go other places and mm -hmm. just kind of look around and you pick up on trends that that breed of people are wearing oh. just from being in another city um, really? I was just recently in London and the thing that stood out to me were the men and the way that they dressed a lot of them were wearing jean jackets so they would be dressed from head to toe but they would have a jean jacket on really? another thing that stood out to me was um, their socks a lot of them had Doc Martin shoes with fun socks so they don't even know that they're caught up in this trend, but as an outsider, when you're there for 72 hours, it's really easy to pick up on it um, and kind of see what the trend is for that city or that town. And you know, it's amazing. Think of all the celebrities that start trends. They, they're oh, yeah. big trendsetters, oh, right? Oh yeah, that's for sure. I mean, they can wear mm -hmm. whatever they start wearing, and we, it all kind of like, we all start wearing, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, some of them are out of control. Right. <laughs> some of them are like, yeah. okay, we know you have $25,000 worth of stuff on, <laughs> but that's whack. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not always sold on that, but yes, they are very yeah. big influencing fashion. They do, um, don't Athletes they? too, I, I think there's some really sharp dressed mm -hmm. athletes out there. It's like, wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, men's is all, men's wear is just really like we could do a whole show on men's yeah, wear. Yeah, and because, we should. And we should because I can't believe how much that's changed over the years. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that. And did you put a purple something in your hair, or you already had it? I, Little <sighs> pop of color, huh? Oh my gosh, what a great idea! I like that. I like that sheer blouse over that jumpsuit. I'm definitely going to have to do that with some of my jumpsuits. I like these open sleeves, these uh -huh. open shoulders now. Mm -hmm. I think that's so cute. Uh -huh. I think I so really too. Do. I so like that. Pretty. And she's um, changed the um, little scarf into some arm candy, See? which I love that. See? I love that. That's very, um, it's very 80s. You know, you see a lot yeah. of people with the jean jackets and that's exactly what they do. They mm -hmm. kind of do that. They do. I think of Pat Benatar, you know, you? I think of Pat Benatar holding her microphone when I see that, but it's, um, I love that. You could do that with any bandana if you think about it, huh? You can. Ooh, I'm, you can. Girl, I'm getting inspired. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That is so cute. So just like the maroon top, she has this teal top and it's just that pop of color that just makes that whole jumpsuit just kind of stand out. I like that. The ballerina that slippers, so, I love that, yeah. So cute. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice sheer blouse, so it's it's lightweight. It's something that you can wear in the summer. It's not going to get hot. You're mm -hmm. not going to it's you're not going to heat up in that. Yeah. But, but it's just another like I said, it's another pop of color. Right. Did you notice something else she did with the jumpsuit? She pull up legs? Yes. <laughs> yes, just something simple like that. You pull up the Isn't legs. It something. Uh-huh. You just pull up the legs and it gives you a whole nother look. Actually, so I when she had the more dressed up. up look, she had the legs all the way down. See what a difference? I don't even like it like that. I love no, the way you like had it, better, it up. Jessica, I like it better. I like it better pulled up. Yes, for this look, it's perfect. But she oh, has reinvented the jumpsuit over and oh. over again. And having it pulled up is she's the right way to go. She's probably been standing there. I was like, I wonder when they're going to notice that she would pull, that I pulled the legs up. <laughs> <laughs> Are they really going to catch on to that? <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> That's okay. You can test us. <laughs> yeah. We passed the test. Good. Good. Well, I'm glad we did this today, Nancy. I think it's important that people could see they could really yeah. reinvent. They can. What they currently have. They can reinvent what they currently have and, and just try something. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. Give it a try. Try something different. Right. Get all the clothes out and just lay them down and look. Go, oh my gosh, you just might realize that that jacket would look really good with that dress. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or th these two pieces would go together. Right. It's so funny. Sometimes when I'm getting ready for an event or something or if I'm helping my clients out, I just kind of like zone out. Sometimes I'm not even in the closet and I'm just like, I have to visualize it and I close my eyes and I start to see things. And that's kind of how, like my storyboard or my blank canvas. And that's how I build, build outfits. And I think sometimes that's better because if you're in the closet looking, you might get overwhelmed. Okay. But if you have okay. different pieces of your wardrobe or your client's wardrobe in your head, then you could start to kind of piece them together because your mind is so fluid. Mm -hmm. So your mind can do that a lot quicker than um, when you're in front of maybe too many pieces and it's like, ah, uh, overwhelming. It's <laughs> just kind of overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's a great idea. And that works, it really works for you, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's m more of a quiet experience. More of a quiet experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's almost like you're, you're using just more of your intuitive skills, you know, mm -hmm. and really just focusing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, sometimes what I envision, it comes together the way I envisioned it. And sometimes what I envision once it's on, it's not what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Right. You know? That is okay. Mm -hmm. So if you try something on, it didn't work, it's all right, and take yeah. it off, try something else, right. it's okay. Exactly, yeah. exactly, you're just... Be comfortable though, uh -huh. it's a be happy. Just a blank canvas, yes. <laughs> be comfortable, be happy. Thank you for watching the Daisy Blue Fashion Variety Show here at Denver Open Media with me, Nancy Blizzard, and my co-host, Jessica Montour. Have a wonderful day.